Welcome back. Well, as you notice, again, kind of keeping an eye on the big story. They've upgraded us quickly now to a slight risk, the Storm Prediction Center. And now most of our viewing area, mainly south of the I-10, I-12 corridor, sits under a slight risk. And obviously that puts us at a two out of five. And again, we're watching this big cluster of thunderstorms. It's not isolated anymore. It's just one big cluster out there. But you can see all that lightning off in the distance. We're still sitting pretty mild at 80, feels like 84. But notice just on our... Sky cam or Fox 44 tower cam. You're seeing that the visibility is quickly dropping out there as those storms are quickly racing towards at least the southern side of the city. We sit around Perkins Road, so just down Perkins Road and just around Blue Bonnet, you can see that our visibility is quickly dropping and that rain. It's coming down pretty hard for areas just west of here across the river. This is what we're watching. This cell is still holding together rather strong and it looks like it's going to continue to march its way through a lot of the viewing area should be out of here by midnight and then pushing its way through New Orleans and possibly east of there before it finally starts to weaken and fall apart and collapse at this point. But right now this system is starting to get a little upper level support. That's why it's sustaining and that's why we're seeing multiple reports. Most of that was west of here of some wind damage and some very large hail. Right now we've got a lot of lightning. It's quite a show out there. If you look off in the distance, as you see, that's mainly the concern here is from White Castle to about Plaquemine, Bruley, Addis, and then moving across the river down towards Gonzales, obviously towards areas south of there, Prairieville. We're talking around the Gardeer and St. Gabriel area, again, where we're going to see the majority of those very strong winds. So a severe thunderstorm warning now until 1030, and this is the very latest. They just updated it for Ascension now, and again, as we were talking about it earlier, they are including more parishes further and further east. Everville still to about 1030. That's eventually going to drop out probably within the next 15, 20 minutes, but East Baton Rouge, West Baton Rouge, and it does look like even a little bit of Livingston is now included goes all the way down to Assumption. Obviously, that's not showing on here. So again, a lot of areas, as you see around Gonzales, just a little bit after 10 o'clock, moving through the area of Sorrento, just around 1030. Donaldsonville, we're talking about 11 o'clock, just to kind of allow you to plan out your evening with those strong thunderstorms. So if you're thinking about heading to bed now, you might just want to wait just a little bit longer until those storms pass and we start to quiet down by the time we get to about 11 o'clock this evening. So the concern is, kind of embedded with that main line where our biggest concern is straight line winds that could be quite damaging. We could see some power outages, some if you have lawn furniture possibly in your backyard that could get picked up or tossed or knocked down. But the concern is, as you notice, a little pocket around Gardeer, possible rotation, and another one just around White Castle and around the Plaquemine area. So that's moving directly across the river at this point. And also, obviously, some very intense rainfall. We're not seeing five inches per hour. The concern is not so much localized flash flooding, just some heavy rainfall. And if you're on the roadways, that is going to be an issue just because the roads could be a little bit sick because that rain is coming down very quickly. So those storms are going to drive through at least the model updated showing you by the time we get to midnight now that yes, we get back to quiet conditions with some lingering showers. By the time you wake up tomorrow morning, front dries through, clears the skies a little bit by Friday afternoon. Rather gorgeous. We're talking temperatures in the 70s, winds out of the north. And then as we continue to move along, moving into your Saturday, we start out nice and dry. But those storms start to pop heading into the afternoon and evening hours and then look for another batch to arrive Easter. Now, luckily for us, with the current timing, a lot of those storms are going to hold off until the afternoon hours now. So we should be fine for all those egg hunts early in the morning. But stay weather aware because as you look here, the Storms Prediction Center also has us under a slight risk. They can include more areas by the time we get to Saturday. That's still three days away. And again, we're talking scattered thunderstorms out there. Then moving into Easter Sunday, and we're talking four days out. So the likelihood if they have us under a 30% chance, the likelihood that we will see severe weather at some point during the day, it is probably very high, or it is rather high, I should say, as we make our way into the weekend. So here you go, chance for some storms out there. We're talking tonight, they're gonna quickly pass through. They'll clear by tomorrow, most of Friday dry, Saturday, late afternoon, evening hours, another batch of storms, and then that final batch arrives going into your Sunday. A lot of those storms will kick out of here by the time we make our way into early next week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, a lot of sunshine and much cooler temperatures. In fact, we're going to drop below normal just to show you the current temperatures. 80 for us, 81 in New Orleans. You can see the difference with that front. Temperatures have already dropped into the 60s with some of that rain cooled air across central and northern Louisiana. Story 
of many storms. Obviously the first one today. The second story arrives on Saturday. The third story, the final one, arrives on Sunday. That quickly pushes through. Severe weather likely and then a nice, cool, quiet work week. As we get back, things start to settle down. So, all right, we got storms currently rumbling through the capital area. They'll be out of here by midnight now. Chance for a little bit of fog. Otherwise, Friday 71 out there. Notice the difference for daytime highs as we were sitting in the upper 80s this afternoon with feel like temperatures in the lower 90s. Remember that we have partnered up with iHeartRadio Baton Rouge to get your weather on the go. 71 down to 50. Look for storms warm again Saturday afternoon back into the 80s on Sunday. Look for those storms. Stay weather aware. Have multiple ways to receive warnings. And obviously, you can follow me on social media at Jesse Gunkel. And then here's the other story. Obviously, once we get past that point, we cool things down. Hot in the 60s, overnight lows dropping even into the 40s at this point. So a nice cool pattern for us as we move forward. And